Hey, how's it going, y'all? This is Chaz from Classic Komodo, and this is Battlefield Academy, a series where I review all the different weapons in Battlefield, and after the stats, give you my opinion on them. This time, we're talking about the AK-5C, and right off the bat, I want to let y'all know that this is one of my favorite weapons of all time. I've this one and the ACWR are the two main guns I use. Not only for the fact that oh, because it's an you know it's a, it's a decent weapon, but it's because it's an all kit weapon. And what that does is allows me to use it along all the classes and allows me to be a, more comfortable with it. It's a gun that you know I fall back on. It's something that I always can resort to. Now I find I found that you know the assault class has a lot better weaponry and at in hand and there you see a Houdini poof but this is a very very good gun and I want to get into the specifics now so here's the stats and let's get right into them the max damage is 25 and the minimum damage is 15.4 what that means for you guys is it's either going to be a 4 to up to a 7 shot kill and I know that doesn't sound too impressive but we're gonna go further into the stats to show how awesome this gun is the drop-off starts really early too at 8 meters and it ends at 50 meters but this is where it kind of shines. Fire rate, 700 rounds per minute. Not bad for such an accurate weapon. And the muzzle velocity is 630 meters per second. That's really good. Suppressed, not so much, but everything gets cut down to about 330. I mean, the 300 meter range uh, when putting a suppressor on it. Magazine size is, well, 30 rounds, one in the chamber. And it's a... These stats don't look too impressive to begin with. It just looks like an average gun. It's the first gun you get for the carbine, so it seems pretty average. But let's get deeper into the stats. The reload on an empty magazine is 2.35. You don't want to go on an empty mag, but that's actually not that bad for being completely empty and have to completely reload. And even with there's if there's one in the chamber, it's 1.85. That's ridiculously fast. That's really, really competitive. The recoil is, this is where it shines too, the recoil isn't bad either. The .32 isn't at all staggering, and the recoil is .2 left and .2 right. It's, uh, you can't really predict the left and right pull, but it's consistently pulling left and right at .2, which isn't a lot, which is good. Lastly, this gun has an aiming downside accuracy of .3, which is in line with most of the other carbines. Unfortunately, you're going to get beat out by the assault's aiming down accuracy of .2. For the most part so why do i love this gun so much well it's simple enough to the fact that it's an all-around great gun it's not the best at anything it's not the you know you're not going to be unfortunately you're not going to be able to beat assault rifles at long longer or medium range in close up you're not going to be able to beat smgs and higher rate of fire weapons and at medium range you're still contending with uh, a lot of the assault weapons and stuff like that so why would you necessarily want to use this? Well, it's consistent. And a lot of people underestimate the power of consistency within a weapon. If something is really, really, really good, like the ACWR, one of my favorite weapons, I've actually probably got the, I think right now, I've got most of my kills with the ACWR, but it's very inconsistent. I try to go for medium range kills and the pull left and pull right on that thing is ridiculous. And it's got such a high recoil that I, I can't account for it, and I don't know what's really going to happen at medium range. I'm just kind of hoping that things go my way. But the AK-5C is so consistent, I know where I'm going to win my battles. You see on the screen behind you how I, I, it's, point and, it's point and shoot. <laughs> it's so simple. The recoil management is so minuscule. Now, when shooting for longer range uh, shots, you kind of want to burst fire a little bit, you know, two to three round burst if you want really, really far distance. But for the most part, this is a noob friendly weapon. It's it's so easy to manage the recoil. Up close, you just point and shoot. In medium ranges, it requires a little bit more uh, management. But for the most part, it's a very easy, consistent weapon. Now, what kind of attachments would I recommend for this kind of weapon? It's pretty easy. You want to make sure that you're just improving this weapon. There's nothing you have to compensate for. Like the, I'm going to keep using the ACWR. You don't have to help with the recoil. So you put a muzzle brake in the angled foregrip or you put an ergo grip or something like that to help with the hip fire of it. There's nothing, you only can improve this weapon. So the main things I would focus on is getting that accuracy higher because it's not close range encounters you want to get with. 
you want to go for those medium range with this gun, and that's where the bulk of the fights are in this game. But the loadout of choice, I have two. If you want a very good introductory weapon to get comfortable with, I would say use the flash hider, the potato grip, and a cobra or coyote sight, along with either a tactical light or a green laser sight. I like the green because you know Classic Komodo. Represent! <laughs> but for the most part, that's a very noob-friendly version. No recoil, easy to manage. If you want to step it up a little bit, slap on a heavy barrel instead and use a Cobra sight because that helps with your aiming down sight's accuracy. A little bit more recoil, but a lot better aiming down sight's accuracy. But that's about it for this episode, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed. Can't wait to the next review. And as always, stay classy!